So this past week, I went ahead and tried something different. Instead of spending $200 or more on a 13 inch Chromebook, I decided to do the next possible thing. Why not take an old MacBook and convert it into a Chromebook? And so that was exactly what I did for this video. For just under $80, I bought one of the best looking, in my opinion, MacBooks that was ever released. I'm talking about the iconic white unibody MacBook. And for us 90s kids, I'm sure we all seen the cameo appearance of the Apple parody pair book on popular Nickelodeon shows. So I wouldn't be surprised if they become more desirable to own in the future. And it's hard to believe that at one point, these white unibody MacBooks used to be retailing at $1,000, new back in 2010. And now you could easily find these selling for around $80 or $200 on eBay. And this one was indeed an eBay found. And got this, a 2010 MacBook. Now what makes the 2010 models different from the previous polycarbonate unibody models is that this was the last year for the white body MacBook. And if you might have noticed, there's no backlit keyboards on these models. That was exclusive for the pro model MacBooks. But that's okay because I haven't seen a Chromebook that has backlit keyboards around this price point either. It does have the eyesight, so you're able to make video chats with okay resolution. And the trackpad is glass and can register up to four fingers for any gestures. And it's actually charged by a MagSafe power adapter. How I do miss these things. The CPU is an Intel Core 2 dual processor. And this unit in particular came with all the unnecessary upgrades that I was originally going to do. It has a 64 gig SSD and has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And I got all this for just 75 bucks. And just with those specs alone, it's a lot better than what Chromebooks normally come equipped with. Take for instance, this HP Chromebook share very similar specs, but it has less storage and the body quality is really poorly designed as it requires two hands just to get the lid to open. Unlike the Mac, you could easily operate the lid single-handedly like so. So although these Macs are commonly known for cracks, scratches, but this doesn't interfere with any functionality or performance of the MacBook since its internals are all reinforced. And having a cool Apple logo glowing in the back makes this into the best looking Chromebook ever. So why would anybody want to do this on their older MacBooks? While these older MacBooks, believe it or not, are still compatible, like this one in particular, it's still compatible to run the latest OS High Sierra. But even with the upgraded internal RAM SSDs, compared to a much more modern MacBook Pro or MacBook, this thing runs like crap. Everything ran slow, and if you're a user who used the current MacBooks, this will drive you nuts, as you know how the performance is supposed to perform. Doing it on this machine? Yeah, it doesn't come close. And even with the modern SSD boost, it still has old generation I.O. ports, including other internal hardware like Bluetooth. This thing has Bluetooth 2.1 and the internal Wi-Fi has no AC Wi-Fi support, but it supports all the other older networks. And even though there's no need to carry around dongles or use a dongle adapter on this MacBook, it is USB 2.0. Transferring anything larger than a couple gigabytes will definitely be a while. So honestly, it was better off just being a Chromebook in order for this thing to be used in today's time since Chromebooks require less power to fully operate and perform, it was time to make convert it into a Chromebook. The installation for Chrome OS on the MacBook was surprisingly easy and free for home or school users. All thanks to a company called Neverware who took Google's open source Chromium OS and created a cloud ready program. This program will pretty much aid you on installing everything for you automatically. And the only thing you really need to have in hand is not only the computer, but a flash drive, USB 2.0 with eight or 16 gigabytes. If you wish for me to cover a tutorial on a more in-depth install guide, comment down below, let me know down in the comic section. I'll be sure to show you that in its own separate video. But this process literally took me less than 20 minutes. And any MacBook 2007 or newer will fully support this install. Now once all that was installed, I went ahead and took this a step further and decided to remove the optical drive to shred as much weight as possible 
and eliminate all the moving components to make this more equivalent to a Chromebook. And once that's all done, our machine is now complete. And I can definitely say this is one best looking Chromebook ever. The Chrome MacBook, I think that's the appropriate name to call this thing. But now, the most popular trend out there lately, can it play Fortnite? And the answer, yes, surprisingly. I wouldn't recommend it, but it can. You will experience some lag that might cost you the game, but for modern gamers who just want to pass the time quick, you can. Using the Chrome desktop remote, we can stream anything from our turned on desktop to our Chrome computer once you have this enabled. Just once again, make sure you have a solid internet connection. And to get the best results, dim down the resolution on your desktop screen to match the resolution on the Chromebook. But you can pretty much run the entire operating system on the Chromebook. And the audio coming from this little MacBook, sound quality is comparable to a $500 laptop or notebook. And while even watching videos like on YouTube, I noticed that the computer will automatically set the resolution to 1080p. Which is good because although it's a 1280 by 800 screen resolution screen, Chromebooks around this similar price point of $100 or $200 aren't 1080p to begin with as well. So this is an even value, I see it. So would I recommend someone to go out their way and try to recreate this project? Yes, for under $100 for just general online tasks, this is definitely a unique Chrome MacBook. Although it's a little bit thicker than modern Chromebooks, but when it comes to repairs, you're, it's a lot more cheaper and easier to find components to replace on these MacBooks than it is on a modern Chromebook. And because of that, this project is definitely worth doing, especially if you have one of these older Macs just laying around. Go ahead and take that and put this thing back in good use. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video project that I documented and had to share with you guys for anybody who's curious if they should also attempt this. And if that is you, comment down below what MacBook model you're using to run Chrome OS. I'd really like to know how many of you guys are also attempting this. And make sure to subscribe because I plan on taking this MacBook apart and repainting the entire body to a white gloss texture in order to make this thing look better than brand new for a future video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.